the king, Henrik Lundqvist, one of the greatest goaltenders in NHL history. Hit the intro. Chara in front, Krejci, what a save by Lundqvist! Henrik Lundqvist with one of the saves of the year. Manic with it though, backhand win it from He's one of the most beloved players of all time, but his career and personal life will certainly surprise you. Let's quickly start things off with his background and his childhood. Henrik Lundqvist was born on March 2nd, 1982 in Are, Sweden. He is the son of Eva Johansson and Peter Lundqvist and has a twin brother named Joel. He began skating in kindergarten after his teacher turned their sandbox into an ice rink. His interest in hockey grew even stronger when his father took him to see Frolunda HC play in Gothenburg. Henrik and Joel joined Yarpins Eve and started playing organized hockey for the first time. Joel volunteered Henrik for the goalie position, and that's how his career started. In 1993, the family moved to Basta Skana in southern Sweden to support their older sister Gabriella's tennis career. Henrik and Joel joined local team Rogel BK. Here, they caught the attention of numerous scouts and their childhood dream team, for Lunda started to take a keen interest in them. Let's briefly discuss his shocking junior career. Lundqvist's remarkable performances also caught the attention of NHL scouts, and he was selected by the New York Rangers 205th overall in the 2000 NHL draft. After being drafted, he chose to begin his professional career with Frölunda, competing in the Swedish Elite League. He failed to impress and was demoted twice to their junior division, J20 Super Elite. He proved himself at the World Junior Championships in Moscow and subsequently helped Frölunda to their second straight Anton Cup win. During the 2004-2005 season, Lundqvist broke four Swedish national records and was named Best Goaltender, Best Player, and MVP. They would go on to win their second title in three years. Time to talk about his NHL career and achievements. And trust me, it's wilder than you think. Henrik Lundqvist signed a two-year, $3,759,000 contract to begin his NHL journey. He was slotted into the Rangers lineup as a backup to starting goaltender Kevin Weeks. After the Rangers lost Weeks to injury in the second game of the season, Lundqvist made his long-anticipated NHL debut on October 8, 2005. He made his home debut in front of a sold-out crowd of 18,200 fans at Madison Square Garden in what was his first NHL win, a 4-1 victory over the Devils. But his game against the Thrashers two days later was like no other. The 5-1 victory resulted in him giving a victory lap, and the Henrik chant was subsequently born. Prominent Rangers beat columnist Larry Brooks bestowed upon Lundqvist the legendary moniker, The King. His first career shutout came against the Florida Panthers just two days later. He was named to the all-rookie team alongside Crosby and Ovechkin. The following year, Henrik became the first NHL goaltender to face his twin brother, Joel. And later that season, he recorded his first playoff shutout in Game 3 of the Eastern Conference quarterfinals against the Thrashers. The Rangers won their first playoff series in 10 years. Lundqvist and the Rangers kicked off their 2008 season in wild fashion, claiming the Victoria Cup with a victory over Metallurg Magnitogorsk of Russia. He made his first All-Star appearance later that season and his second appearance in 2011. The following year, he won his first Vesna Trophy. Lundqvist recorded back-to-back -back playoff shutouts against the Capitals. However, they would be eliminated by the eventual Eastern Conference champion Boston Bruins in five games. In March of 2014, he became the winningest goalie in Rangers franchise history. His dominant postseason would earn the Rangers their first trip to the Stanley Cup Finals in 20 years. However, the Rangers would ultimately be defeated by the Kings in five games. A scary incident occurred in 2015. Moving toward the end, he's got Knox Lundqvist down. Boy, oh boy, I wonder if it didn't catch him underneath. He managed to finish the game, but would be out for eight weeks to recover. Despite Lundqvist missing nearly two months, the Rangers captured the President's Trophy. They made it to the Eastern Conference Finals, but ultimately lost to the Lightning in seven games. A couple wild moments happened in the following years. Teammate Ryan McDonough ran into Lundqvist, sending his stick to the corner of the rink. He then sought a whistle to no avail and launched the net on its backside. And the following December, this happened. Power play in. New York hasn't even had an opportunity. Eakin just ran over Henrik Lundqvist in behind the net. He was forced to leave, and Cody Eakin was ultimately suspended four games. 
He's set numerous franchise records up until 2019. However, in 2020, it became apparent that Lundqvist would be the odd man out following the emergence of Rangers goaltenders Alex Georgiev and Igor Shosturkin. He was bought out of his contract, making him a free agent for the first time in his career. He would join the Capitals on a one-year deal, but would miss the season after having open-heart surgery. In August of 2021, Lundqvist announced his retirement from professional hockey. The Rangers retired his number 30 that following season. On November 13th, 2023, Lundqvist was inducted into the NHL Hall of Fame. Before we dive into all the money he's made, let's briefly go over his wild international highlights. Lundqvist's most memorable international performance came at the 2006 Winter Olympics in Tehran. He led Sweden to the gold medal over their arch rivals, Finland. But no performance was better than in the 2017 World Championships. The final against Canada went into a shootout, and Lundqvist stopped all four Canadian chances to lead his country to its 10th World Championship title. Let's take a look at his recent contracts and brand deals. After his rookie contract was up, Lundqvist signed a one-year, $4.25 million contract extension with the Rangers. And during that one-year deal, he signed a six-year extension, this time for a total of $41.25 million. This made him the highest paid goaltender in the NHL. He signed an even bigger extension in 2013. The seven year deal was worth $59.5 million, once again, making him the highest paid goaltender in the NHL with an average annual cap hit of $8.5 million. Because that contract carried a full no move clause, the Rangers bought him out of his final year for $3 million. His one year deal with the Capitals was worth $1.5 million. But NHL contracts aren't the only way he makes money. Henrik has brand deals with Bauer, Tagwear, and Bread and Boxers. He earns $900,000 annually from off the ice endorsements. Now that we know how much he makes, how does he spend his cash? After signing his rookie deal, he went out and bought this $1.75 million condo in New York City. But that's nothing compared to this next home that he bought. After signing his $41 million extension in 2008, he went out and bought this luxurious New York City penthouse for $3.9 million. It's located in the heart of Manhattan, which offers views of Central Park and the New York skyline. It also features a hot tub, chef's kitchen, and a 1,000 square foot private outdoor terrace. And after signing his $60 million extension in 2013, he bought his first house in Ostenla, Sweden. The waterfront home set him back 7.85 million Swedish krona, but it's his car collection that's the best in the NHL. He usually drives around New York in his Porsche Panamera Turbo, which goes for $186,400. But his favorite car is his Lamborghini Gallardo. The custom car set him back $209,000. He even got the Lamborghini logo replaced with his last name. He also has a Bentley Continental, which cost him $270,000. He's been seen sporting the Tagwear Carrera Chronograph, which goes for $10,850. Peeking now into his personal life. Real quick, if you're liking this video, comment below on who we should cover next. Lundqvist met Therese Anderson back in 1998, and they dated for 12 years before getting engaged in 2010. Though he was caught with Swedish model Victoria Silvsted and Princess Madeline of Sweden in the late 2000s. After their engagement, Lundqvist and Anderson had two kids together. During his time in Frölunda, he used to play guitar in a Swedish rock band called Box Play. Later, he became known as a fashion icon, and in 2006, he was named in People's World's 100 Most Beautiful People. Following his retirement, Lundqvist joined the Rangers broadcast team for the 2021-2022 season, and he is now one of TNT's full-time studio analysts alongside Wayne Gretzky and Paul Bissonnette. He's also good friends with Alexander Skarsgård and Ryan Reynolds. Now for some moments that caused some waves in Lundqvist's career. Some controversy happened after a Game 6 playoff goal against the Ottawa Senators. Lundqvist made his thoughts perfectly clear after this goal was determined not to be kicked in. You could later hear him saying this. He remained steamed after the game, even going so far as to suggest that the NHL wanted Ottawa to win to make things interesting. I think it's an absolute joke. It pushes him out of net and kicks the puck in the net. Someone wanted them back in the game for sure. He's also had a couple of run-ins with Sidney Crosby. Lundqvist suspected Crosby of diving during this game in 2010, and the two briefly got into it. Four years later, during another scrum, Lundqvist sprayed Crosby with water after he speared Dominic Moore. The NHL fined Lundqvist $5,000. Now at this point, you must be getting excited about his net worth. 
Lundquist just signed a multi-year extension with TNT, so we're sure his net worth will continue to rise. Having said that, his total career earnings to date are $104,908,390, and he has amassed a total net worth of $35 million. Thanks for watching.